So, some might be wondering what's going on today, December 20th, 2020 Sunday. Well, today I have had my 2019 Hyundai Sonata for a year now. Might as time fly. In one year, I got exactly 35,000 miles on it. Here's the rest of the gauge cluster. Yes, I'm aware of that tire light. It's because um, I don't have tire pressure sensors in my winter tires. So, there it is in terms of the mileage. So, back to the outside. Not a whole lot to see. You know, I didn't really go crazy with cosmetics or anything like that. Short of just painting the wheels red. Now, they're not the MGI red I wanted them to be. I had ongoing issues with the spray gun. However, what I do have, and this is what I ended up painting it last summer, this gloss regal red. Not sure how well the camera can pick it up here. Because this autofocus sucks. But it's gloss regal red. 7765830. Um, it's a pretty close match if you look at the wheel compared to the rest of the car. It's a pretty darn close match. And it kind of behaves like uh, the Hyundai's Scarlet Red. That is, if you hold that wheel under the right light at certain angles, you have a bit of an orange-ish hue to it. So, I thought that was interesting. The other notable thing on the exterior is, of course, the hitch that I have. Um, yeah, it served its purpose a couple of times so far when I had to pull the log splitter. But uh, other than that, if I had to do that all over again, I certainly would have gone with the draw tight and not the curt. So... That's the only thing I would have done differently, but other than that, yeah, it's been a good hitch. It did its job. Uh, one time I got the Cub Cadet stuck, and I was able to um, use this car to actually uh, yank the Cub Cadet out. See the provisions for the chain. Now, I don't know the proper name for these types of pins here, but this is the one that doesn't have a hole for the clavicin, but rather it's a hole cut out groove, so you can make that whatever angle you need it to be. So, that's about it here. And if you go underneath the car, the one thing that's a bit hard to see, they have this stupid cloth shield. It's made of, like, cardboard and carpet. Wouldn't be so bad if it didn't get caught on things all the time. I had to cut most of it out. The one thing I am critical of when it comes to this car, I feel it could be a little higher off the ground. I mean, it's not as bad as the Hyundai Accents. Those things have the ground clearance of a vacuum cleaner. But that is what I wish I could do is get this a little higher off the ground. I wish this would come a little higher off the ground. But bar on that, I mean, bro, it's been a solid car. Back to the interior. Eh, not much to see. Of course, you get to see the downsides of a light gray interior. Hard to keep them clean, but just got my WeatherTech floor mats. Just have my tint here. 20% here. 5% in the back. Not much to see. And I hardly ever use the back seat, so of course the back is going to be very clean. So I didn't go too crazy here. Again, it's uh, I still owe money on the car. I don't want to put too much money into a car that I owe money on. And the whole purpose of this car was it was just the financially sensible decision making when it comes to buying cars. And if I go too crazy, well, that wouldn't be too sensible now, would it? That's really all I have to show. Not a whole lot to see. It's been a very solid car. It has been the car that I was looking for. Um... The one problem I did have was with the brakes, but at least my diligence paid off because I've been having the dealer do everything and going with the recommended services, what have you. Uh, when something went amok, they didn't give me the runaround. They didn't keep bouncing back and forth between corporate. They saw that I was taking care of the car, so they just got me all new brakes, all new rotors, all new pads. And that was pretty much the only notable problem this car really had other than that it's been solid i like how hyundai stood behind their product and i just like the good deal i ended up getting on this car and this is the other big thing that i praise hyundai for 
Um, and, and I know I speak for a lot of people here who might have been in the situation I was in, which is they were in the market for a car when they didn't really want to be in the market for a car. It was just out of happenstance. And Hyundai really helped me out there because I know I'm not alone in that situation. And because that has been brought up, I meant to say it earlier in the video, thank you Toyota for a bad job, not well done, and uh, for putting me in this situation. But it is nice to know there is someone who can help you if you should be uh, in the situation I was in.